Welcome to today's presentation. As a part of the course Intercultural Perspectives on Information Literacy, a transnational online course in winter term 2020-2021 from the University of Pune in India and the University of Hildesheim in Germany, four Indian students and two German students are discussing together the impact of the pandemic on the education sector. We are Group C and the group is represented by Marian, Simran, Haldion, Megha, Trupti and me, Gülde. So first you can see the table of content. We will start with the introduction. After that we will continue with the motivation regarding to the current situation in which we all find ourselves at the moment. Then we will show you what is already known about the topic and we will explain our main focus. At the end of the presentation, we'll talk about the local and cultural aspects, which contains voices from real people we did interviews with, and give you a short conclusion. The education sector has been impacted enormously due to COVID-19. For example, over 1.2 billion children are out of classroom. And the teaching has changed now in form of remote and on digital platforms. The changes has brought new challenges for teachers and students. Some of the challenges are now listed. For example, what happens if there is no reliable internet access or technology for students or teachers? And is there any difference between privileged and disadvantaged students? And is e-learning effective? To answer all these questions, we use different scientific resources in our research. And we will present our knowledge about the topic from two perspectives. On the one hand, the scientific perspective, and on the other hand, the tentative intercultural anecdotal user perspective, which we gained by our interviews we did. The aim of our research is to find out to what extent the global pandemic is affecting different areas of the education sector. First, we want to know whether digital learning platforms can replace conventional methods in the classroom. In many countries, the pandemic has meant that lessons in schools have had to be cancelled and replaced by digital learning formats. The question here is to what extent homeschooling can replace teacher-centered teaching and whether it would also be a suitable alternative in the long term. Furthermore, we ask ourselves how teachers, especially older teachers, cope with the new digital learning methods. It would be important to provide appropriate training so that they have the necessary knowledge of digital formats and can apply them. This is the only way they can focus on content-related learning aspects in homeschooling and successfully teach digitally. Another important area of the education sector is university teaching. We ask ourselves how different universities around the world teach during the pandemic and what exactly such concepts include. Particularly in practical courses of study, problems arise because courses are cancelled without replacement and certain content cannot always be offered online. The social aspect should not be underestimated either. When young students in particular no longer have social contact with classmates and teachers. With homeschooling, the learning environment of the students changes massively and influences the way learning takes place. Students therefore must learn on their own responsibility, which can also have a negative impact on social skills. The pandemic has affected really 1.6 billion learners across 190 countries on all continents. Closures of school and other learning spaces have impacted 94% of world student population and up to 99% in low and lower middle income countries. The education disruption had and will continue to have substantial effects beyond education. 
closure of educational institutions hamper the provision of essential services to children and communities including access to nutritious food and also affecting the ability of many parents to work and increases the risk of violence against women children and girls some children have missed a stimulating and enriching environment social interactions and some even have faced a lack of adequate nutrition which has increased dropout anticipation rates the economic impact on households is likely to widen the inequalities in education achievement millions could be pushed into severe poverty empirical evidence shows that children from households in the poorest quintiles are significantly less likely to complete primary and lower secondary education than those in the richest quintiles many students have faced concentration issues and other mental problems as the online classes have started by schools and colleges using electronics continuously for education purpose also have led to diversion of students mind and social media that resulted in addiction affecting their day to day behavior due to continuously sitting in front of the screens student have faced problems in their eyes and also it has led to laziness among the students also a shift towards the digital online teaching platform has created a problem for teachers to cope up with the new technology where there is a lack of two way communication sometimes adapting to the online teaching platforms such as google meet microsoft teams and other apps was a challenge for teachers teachers find it difficult to figure out whether the student has understood what she has taught in the class because she is not able to see the immediate reaction of the student and two way communication is a big challenge for teachers and online teaching platforms in the focus of the research the following aspects were investigated first what are the present and post covid 19 shocks prevailing in the education sector second what are the innovative teaching strategies adopted during the pandemic third what are the challenges faced by the students in their rural areas and with poor financial background and fourth what are the policies that can be recommended to prevent the learning crisis in the world from becoming a generational catastrophe the following are the recommendations that have been developed from the research first strengthening the resilience of education systems enables countries to respond to the immediate challenges of safely reopening schools and positions them to better cope with future crises in this regard governments can focus on equity and inclusion reinforce capacities for risk management at all levels of the system ensure strong leadership and coordination and enhance consultation and communication mechanisms second policies to prevent the learning crisis should consider the students from underprivileged families who do not have access to laptops and smartphones third special assistance must be provided by the schools and colleges to the students who have been recorded by obtaining subsidies special assistance etc fourth internet connectivity to the remote areas must be ensured by the government particularly the local government fifth students should undertake the self initiative to adapt and take advantage of the internet of things so that they can utilize the technology and information to do assignments according to the educational curriculum therefore it is not impossible for students to realize online applications that can facilitate the process of learning sixth in the national and the international level national authorities and the international community need to protect education financing through strengthening domestic revenue mobilization preserving the share of expenditure for education as a top priority and address the inefficiencies in education spending seventh reimagine education through addressing the learning losses and preventing dropouts particularly marginalized groups skills for the employability programs should be offered teaching profession and teachers readiness must be supported barriers to connectivity should be removed data and monitoring of learning articulation and flexibility across levels and types of education and training should be strengthened moving to the research method diagnostic and descriptive research design have been used for the research study The impact of the pandemic on the educational sector has been studied extensively to arrive at the recommendations. The extent of the impact has been diagnosed and suggestions are included in the research. The outcome best resources are the following. COVID-19 has affected the poorer and the most vulnerable section. It has increased dropout anticipation and it has necessitated 
the need to bridge the digital divide for the marginalized populations in digital literacy. Obstacles are found out in the implementation of policies in the educational sector due to uneven infrastructure, changes in people's mindset, and difficult situations due to COVID-19. Challenges of the educational sector during COVID-19 and the steps that have been conceived to minimize the adverse effect of COVID-19. To get a local view of how the pandemic has impacted the education sector, we conducted interviews. Students and teachers from schools and colleges of India as well as Germany participated in these interviews. The students we spoke to were from universities and the age group for the same was 20 years to 26 years. Similarly, we also interviewed teachers teaching in schools and universities of both countries. The age group for the teachers is 30 years and above. Students and teachers alike faced a lot of internet connectivity issues which resulted in cancelled lectures or disturbed classes. Many students who belong to the economically weaker sections of the society had limited technological facilities for a smooth education. Due to prolonged exposure to computer, laptop or mobile screens, students faced many health problems. It was also observed that the students had difficulty with concentration and it had taken a toll on their mental health. Students had a very limited way of contacting their teachers or professors and thus found it difficult to be updated. In the beginning, they had a constant fear of missing out on important notices. Just like the students, the teachers were greatly affected. Due to the sudden shift in the mode of classrooms, teachers found themselves to be unprepared as they had a very limited training in conducting lectures online. An important result of online lectures was that the students remained unresponsive, which demotivated the teachers who could not see their students. Teachers also complained of not getting the satisfaction of teaching. Slowly, teachers and students now seem to have adapted to the new method. Teachers are now coming up with techniques to make the classes interesting, like making use of presentations and videos in lectures. The impact of COVID-19 on the education sector has led to the abrupt closure of learning institutions in several countries. This sudden development has affected students and educators, leaving them with no option than to switch to remote learning. One can't ignore the fact that digital transformation is actually as a virtual anchor between the desks and the board. The sudden change of events has jeopardized the enrollments that usually started around March and April. Students are even considering not to enroll themselves this fall due to absence of physical classroom setups. Though COVID-19 has presented many challenges to us, it has created various opportunities too, like restructuring of the education system, this is the most important. The quick transition to online mode assisted in keeping continuity of education programs effectively fitting in the purpose of completion of the current academic year. Online teaching, use of internet technology in education are said to become a new normal. The transition can be quick and smooth if educators and technical staff show an adaptive and collaborative attitude. It is, however, very early to conclude the successful narrative of transition as the judgment of students' performance and quality of passing out uh, professionals is yet to be realized.